Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to share with you a beautiful vision that the Holy Spirit just allowed me to have. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. Amen. Um, so I was led to Scripture this morning about the vision of the lampstand and the olive trees in Zechariah 4, which I'll do a video on after this. But I want to share with you this vision. So I had been praying in my prayer closet, and um, I had a vision of Jesus, and I was I literally ran to him, and I looked down, and I had on what I would consider like a gown, and it was uh, white, and it was pure white, but it wasn't bright to where it would hurt your eyes. It was just like a like a it was pure white, but it was almost glowing. And I was allowed to see in my vision up close to this gown, like almost into the fabric. That's the only way I can explain it. Um, the minute particles of the gown. And it was so beautiful and so glorious and sparkly. Um, I'm assuming that the Lord wanted me to do that so that I could see how we are when we get to be with Him in heaven in our glorified bodies um, and what our garments will look like. So I saw minutely in this vision, like very um, finely into the fabric, woven, uh, but just so radiant and glorious and of light, pure light, which, you know, we all know Lord Jesus Christ is is of that light and if we are his sons and daughters we are of the same light um, so let me let me just explain further so once I was able to see that I was just like in awe of it and um, humbled to be in the presence of Jesus and and God I was in the I was at the throne of God um, and I literally fell to my knees and in and, and um, and it was like God stood, but I didn't see his face, but I knew I was in the presence of God. And in my spirit, I was just like, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. And the Lord uh, Jesus allowed me to understand that, you know, that with him there, because he is the mediator between man and God, that I was allowed to be in the presence of God. And just like it says in the Bible about um, Jesus being our high priest, um, full of compassion and love, that's that's the understanding I felt in my spirit at that moment. And then, brothers and sisters, um, I was allowed to see everyone, everyone, like so many people, um, and not in minute detail like he had shown me uh, with my own gown, but I saw men in white suits and ties, and it was pure white, and it was beautiful. It was radiant, and women um, in the same sort of gown that I had on, and everybody was so joyous and happy, and um, there was no, like, male-female relationship. It was brothers and sisters, and we were all there together. Um, with the cloud of witnesses, with um, our family members, and the Lord was putting them upon my heart that when, when people um, pass away, it's you know they leave their body, but then they're present with the Lord if they've accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and there's no pain, there's no sorrow, um, no disease, no disorder, no aging. There's just love, congruence, compassion, joy. Um, and we were all feeling this at the same time and we were all connected and, um, he was wanting me to share this with you and also let you know that if any of you have lost anybody that, that they are so full of joy, they're so full of love and they forget the pain and, and things that they've gone through on the earth, um, and that you will see them again and, um, and they, they will recognize you and they will know you when you come to meet them again. And I hope that brings you comfort. Um, I felt like that's what the Lord wanted me to share with you. 
Um, but I went, as I looked around, there were so many people, like as far as I could see in this vision, just completely covered my vision with so many people and everybody, every, it doesn't matter the color of your skin or what race you are. There were so many different colors of peoples, amen, that God has created all of us. And there's so many different races, different colors of people, and everybody was just rejoicing. And I know this has to do with the rapture. I know this has to do with um, our final destination and the Holy Spirit. Um, well, let me back up just a slight bit. Um, I was going up the steps, as you see here in this picture with Jesus, and I heard in my spirit just a little bit further, my child. And, and I know he wants me to tell you that just a little bit further, my child. And I know that we're weary, brothers and sisters in Christ. I know that we're weary right now, but we find our strength and our restoration and our peace and our recompense and our reconciliation in Jesus Christ, amen, and through the Holy Spirit. And I just want you to know that he said just a little bit further. And we had gotten um, up to the top of the steps and there was like a portal that allowed us to go even further. And I know... Um, that there are different levels of heaven. Amen. Um, and, and the throne of God obviously is at the highest of heaven and, um, he loves you so much. You are so loved. And I just wanted to encourage you today with this vision that, that he, that I'm humbled to see that I'm overjoyed to share with you, to encourage you and to let you know that you are so loved by God, your creator and by Jesus Christ, the son of God who died for us on a cross and took our sins and iniquities on his back, and yet he knew no sin. And if you would just receive him today, humble yourself before him today and receive him as your Lord and Savior, he will live and dwell with you through the Holy Spirit, and you will have eternal salvation in him. And that was the other part of the, of the vision that he was sharing with me in my spirit, that he gives us redemption through himself, through his blood. He became the sacrificial lamb. Worthy is the lamb of God. Amen. So he is coming soon. And um, no one knows the day or the hour, but we can read the signs of the time. So I know that this was to encourage you. And I just pray um, that the presence of the Holy Spirit is with you. That the joy of the Lord, Nehemiah 8.10, the joy of the Lord is with you. And um, there's no peace or love like the peace of Jesus Christ. And he died for us. He died for us. I mean, that's so powerful. And he comes back as the judge. He's no, you know, as we saw him on earth, he was so humble. Even when they beat him and spat upon him and cussed at him and, and murdered him, he was thinking about us. He was thinking about his love for us. He died on the cross for us, for our sins and iniquities. We couldn't pay that debt. That's why God sent his only son. Amen. I hope this encourages you today. I love you in Christ. I pray for you every day. Please pray for me and mine also, brothers and sisters in Christ. And may God bless you always. Be encouraged. Amen.